Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, hope you're all smashing it. So in today's video, we're just going to be fitting the gloss black M style front grills to the E91. Now for those of you who have obviously been following the channel, um, we've been doing a little bit with this car, obviously got it quite cheap, and we made concerns with the MOT. Well, last Friday we took it for an MOT, and I'm glad to say it passed with no advisories. So it's taken a little while, but because of that, I'm treating it, and I'm going to fit these grills now obviously these are the M style, uh, so they've got the, the twin twin slats in, uh, similar to the other videos we've done, if you watch any of them. Um, you've basically got your tabs around the back of the grill, there, just literally push them in, um, and a bit of pressure on the grill, and pull it out. Uh, now with this one as well, obviously with it being the uh, pre-LCI, you've got the little like, eyebrow lips which go on the bonnet, just there. So we're getting all these changed. Um, should be pretty easy. All you're going to need is a Torx bit. Looking at it, I think it's a T25, but I'll let you know when we start it. So with this one, all you're going to need to do is remove one, two, three, four T30 Torx bits. Now that'll allow you to just get behind this section of the bumper. Just pull it forwards so you can get to all your clips. And for the bonnet brows, you've basically got one, two, three uh, T25 Torx bits uh, so you've got three on either side and then you'll be able to remove that so with removing these obviously you've got the bolts out so that pulls forwards obviously be careful you don't break anything just want to put a light bit of pressure on that and behind there you've got a little tab just need to push that up and it should just pop out so there's one there's two sorry, there's two and there's three so that's the top out so while you're keeping your pressure on just literally work your way around remove all your tabs so you can see where they all are from the, uh, the new grill that you've got. Just make sure that's out. These last ones at the bottom. These ones are a little bit tight. One. Let's see if we get this one. we go and that is one of your old grills out so as you can see these are your tabs you've got three at the top one either side and two at the bottom they just literally push in while you're putting a bit of pressure on and they'll pop out so we'll crack on get the other side done we go oh, we've got the opportunity just give it a bit of a clean So now all we're going to do is replace all the bolts, so we'll get these screwed back in, then we can just pop the grills back in. Now obviously with these you can line them up with the original marks, so you know you get it back in the right place. Now we're just going to pop these grills in, obviously you've got your tabs, just line them up with the originals and that should just pop back in like that. Now this side, obviously line them all up and there we go. 
looking better already. Now let's get the tops done. So these tops, yet again, we'll be removing the Torx bolts. Ooh, that's a little bit stiff. There we go. Now I'm not 100% these are handed. I think they are. We've got a slight more of a curve than that side, so we'll replace one at a time. So there we go, as you can see, you've got a slight more of a curve on that side than you have on that side. All my holes line up. So we'll get this one screwed back in. As you can see, that looks a lot nicer. I'm happy with that. So as you can see, a lot fresher look on it. Looks a lot nicer than them chrome ones. Obviously, we still need to tackle that. That's just arrived today, so I'm gonna spray that cap. We'll get that on. And I think you'll agree, the car is looking a lot nicer. So those grills just nicely match the black wheels. I think all we're going to have to do is sort the paintwork out. So obviously me and Martin are going to get on with that soon. Uh, I've got a couple of other plans for the car. Um, obviously we need to get the glow plugs done on it. Uh, what I have been thinking is when I get the glow plugs done, I'm going to be looking at um, actually doing possibly a swirl flap delete on it, EGR delete, DPF delete, uh, get the inlet off, just so I can replace the glow plug module. But we'll see about that. Uh, might have to do a bit of saving and then get it mapped. So remember, like and subscribe. We'll catch you in the next video. Hope you're liking the content. See you later.